Hello, and welcome to the This Happened Today in History podcast for March 1st. I am your host, Mr. Miller. This podcast will cover a number of topics that happen on this date in history. Please visit the podcast webpage at thishappentoday.buzzsprout.com. There you can download the notes page, which will help you organize the information as well as develop your own ideas on how these events change the world around us. If you are interested in hearing more, please consider subscribing so you will not miss out on what happens tomorrow in history. In 1954, the U.S. tested the largest hydrogen bomb that was ever exploded in the Pacific archipelago of Bikini Atoll, which is a part of the Marshall Islands. Nuclear testing using explosive devices in the Marshall Islands began in 1946. This was one year after the World War II bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan. Ninety ships, some of which were carrying live animals, were part of the first drop. The animals were included so that scientists could study the effects of nuclear radiation. One scientist declared that when the bomb went off, he could feel a slight warmth on his face in an immense explosion two minutes after the bomb was detonated. Bomb testing continued for more than a decade and included more than 60 bomb drops. This displaced the people living on this island in the Pacific and made the island and the land around it uninhabitable for humans and animals. Even though the land is becoming less radioactive, it may never be safe for people to return to the islands. In 2002, the possibility of water still existing on Mars was made known. According to NASA, a spacecraft called Odyssey had detected water on this planet. According to ScienceMag.org, the Odyssey rover's test began on February 19th and included both visible light data as well as infrared data of the Martian surface. These images give scientists the ability to determine what the surface of Mars is made of. The rover also used a tool called a gamma ray spectrometer. This looked at the atoms that were displaced by cosmic solar rays that bounce off the surface of the planet. By isolating and looking at specific data, scientists were able to deduce that hydrogen most likely existed in large quantities below the surface of Mars, and that, along with the pressure and temperature reading, makes water the most likely candidate. In 1941, Nashville, Tennessee, became the home of the very first FM radio station in the country. While the FM band had less static and more range, it did not become popular until the early 1960s. According to wikipedia.org, WSM was originally named W47NV and began broadcasting in 1939. Then, in 1941, it became the first commercial FM station in the nation. It was launched by Edwin Wilson Craig, who was the owner of National Life and an accident insurance company. He worked with chief engineer John DeWitt Jr. in developing a replacement for their experimental AM shortwave station W4XA. The station operated for about 10 years until they realized that at that time, very few households in the area had FM radio receivers, and therefore commercial potential was going to be very small. The FM station, WSM, was shut down in 1951, and they returned the license to the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC. The insurance company is now defunct, even though its television station and AM station continue under different ownership. You have been listening to the This Happened Today in History podcast for March 1st. I thank you for listening, and I hope that you have enjoyed learning about historical events from the past. Thank you to the following websites for their information regarding the topics today. ThePeopleHistory.com Bikini Atoll Nuclear Test at SmithsonianMag.com Water on Mars, TheScienceMag.org and WSMFM on Wikipedia.org The music used as the background track for this podcast is Americana, created by Kevin McLeod on Incompetech.com. If you enjoyed this information and would like to hear more, please consider subscribing as this will keep the historical events in your feed in the morning for each day. I hope you have a great day.